Hi, it's Seven Argo. So the reason why you guys are so far away is because I got a new setup. I used to sit on the floor, but now I'm actually sitting at a desk and I'm sitting on a chair, which is much, which is much more comfortable than sitting on the floor. Um, but the only problem is that my desk, it kind of, you know, does like this when I grab products of, of my desk. So if I have my camera standing on my desk, um, the camera will also start to do like that and it will be shaky. So I'm placing the camera further back so it doesn't have to sit on my desk. So in that way it won't be shaky. So yeah, that's basically why I am a little bit further away. Um, I really hope you guys can still hear me because I know the audio isn't too great on my camera. But um, yeah, anyways, we're doing a first impressions tutorial today. So I'm doing this look and I'm using all new products that I have never tried out before. So throughout the video, I will let you guys know how I like them. So yeah, we are doing a blue lip and kind of a bronzy, shimmery, smoky eye. And it's a lot of fun. I really think this look is super pretty. So don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it. And um, watch in high definition. It makes everything much better. I promise you guys. So I thought I would also take a minute right now to update you guys. Um, I'm going to get a new camera very soon. By May I will get a new camera. I'm going to buy a Canon 70D. So hopefully that will improve the quality of my videos. And hopefully the audio will be better and um, you know I will be able to zoom um, I can't zoom on my current camera so that's why I can't zoom in on my face right now but uh, once I get that camera I will be able to do that so yeah I'm really excited about that but um, yeah I thought I would just update you guys on that but anyways back to this makeup I am using some new um, Born Pretty Store items that I just got sent in the mail and I tried them out for the first time in this video. So I got a concealer, an eyebrow pencil, and a blue lipstick. And I'm loving all these three things. I think they are great. And you guys know I love Born Pretty Store, so no surprise there. Um, from Born Pretty Store, I also got this hand cream. I think I should try it out. So it looks like this. I'm just going to try it out for you guys. So it smells nice and fresh, but not too perfumey and it feels nice too so that feels like a very nice hand cream and it sinks into the skin as well so it doesn't leave like a sticky feeling on the hands don't forget that i have a giveaway going on i will link it down below anyways i think i have talked enough now so um yeah let's go ahead and get right into this first impressions tutorial okay so my hair is slightly wet because I just washed it so yeah I didn't feel like blow drying it so but yeah let's just get right into this video so the first thing I'm going to try is this uh, milk of magnesia it looks like this and I've seen a lot of YouTube gurus use this for the primer so I don't know I'm not quite sure how this works am I supposed to like shake it first Let's just try and open it. So I need my hair out of my face. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I think I'm going to try and apply this with my fingers. It doesn't really smell like anything. Okay, let's try it. I'm going to pour a little bit up into this cup. So. Oh my gosh, is this right? I feel like in Jagas where I don't remember who it was, but somebody is applying, what was it, horse cum on his face? That's how I feel. <laughs> is it supposed to be so liquidy? I'm still not quite sure what I think about this. It feels, I don't know, it feels a little bit maybe rubbery on the skin. But I heard it was good for controlling oils, so hopefully it does that. I'm going to try out this cover stick from e.l.f. And I'm going to use this as my foundation. So I am in the color light beige. And I think I'm just going to try and apply this. Oh, okay. It's very yellow. It's a very yellow colored foundation stick thing. 
but hopefully it blends out nicely. Okay, so that was actually not as bad as I first expected it to be. So I think I'm going to use my fingers a little bit as well, just to press in the product. Okay, so that actually looks okay to me. So I'm just going to see if I can build up the coverage. It smells a whole lot like orange flavored candy. For one dollar I think this is actually pretty good. It is very creamy and I do not think that this will set to like a, a powdery finish so keep that in mind. So now we are going to do concealer and I'm going to use this concealer from Boy & Pretty Store. My color is O2 and I'm just going to use this underneath the eyes. Just in that typical like little triangular shape and I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. The coverage on this concealer is actually pretty nice. So I quite like that actually. So before I do my powder, I'm going to do cream blush. And I'm actually going to try out my Estee Lauder lipstick as a cream blush. So this is what it looks like. This is in the color Rose Tea. Go ahead and apply it. So now I'm going to use my Catrice Prime and Fine powder and by the way this is just a translucent powder so I'm just going to set all my cream products in place. Okay so so far I quite like all the products. Um, as you can see it's just a very subtle blush now um, because the powder did tone it down but I think it looks pretty this far. So to contour, I'm going to grab this dark elf powder. This is in the color honey. Oh, you guys, I totally forgot to use my new powder brush. Damn it. Okay, I will save it for another tutorial. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to go ahead and use my angled brush to kind of carve out these cheekbones. So that seems pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and contour up here around my forehead. I have always wanted to buy a darker powder to use as a contour, so I'm glad I finally did. I'm also going to use this to contour my nose. Then I'm just going to buff it out a bit. So I'm going to do the eyebrows now. So I just got this new um, eyebrow pencil from Boy & Pretty Store. Looks like this. And my color is number 3. Okay, so that's my eyebrows done. So I really quite like this pencil, but you have to be careful if you're not used to working with um, the softer eyebrow pencils because this is pretty soft. I'm going to try out this e.l.f. Uh, brow gel. So hopefully this will keep my eyebrows in place. So I just brush it on there. So that feels fine on my eyebrows. It doesn't feel super crunchy. Some eye um, eyebrow mascaras can feel super stiff but this one doesn't so I'm going to use the same foundation stick as an eyelid base it says it's like multi-use so let's see if it's true so I just apply a little bit of that I don't think you would want to apply too much of this I think it would crease because it is so creamy so that looks good to me so the eyeshadow palette I'm going to use is this one. It's the Naked Prism eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. And I might use this uh, Drama 
quad as well if I need it. So I'm going to work with blue lipsticks so I want to keep the eyes a bit bold but I also want to keep them neutral. And I did actually get a new eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. It's just a regular eyeshadow brush so I'm going to try this out. So I'm going to take the lightest color first and I'm going to use this to highlight my inner corner. It's a very nice light champagne color. I'm going to take this color all over the lid. So I'm actually really impressed with these eyeshadows so far. They're very nice and pigmented and super duper shimmery. I think if you use them wet, you would almost get that kind of metallic look. So I'm going to use this color in the crease. Then in the outer corner, I'm going to use the darkest color. So, so far I really like these eyeshadows. They are super pretty and super duper pigmented. So I'm going back in with the lightest color and just applying it to my brow bone. So I'm going back into the two darkest colors and I'm using that underneath my eyes. So I really like these eyeshadows but they do have a bit of fallout. Not anything major but just keep it in mind. Okay, so for my eyeliner I'm going to uh, use my Makeup Lug and Seal from e.l.f. So I hope I can use this um, together with my drama eye quad, the black color in here, to make a nice black eyeliner. Okay, so I mixed the eyeshadow with the makeup lock and seal. So I'm going to try and do eyeliner now. So it's not working exactly like how I wanted it to, but it's okay. The line is just not going to be super crisp and fine. It's going to be more of a powder eyeliner. So I hope you can see the difference between one eye lined and one not lined. So once that's on, I'm going to use my new e.l.f. mascara and I'm going to use the waterproof version today. So this mascara is nice and black. I can definitely say that. So it's an okay mascara. It gives some um, nice blackness and definition and it also gives some length but I don't know about the volume, I don't think it's that volumizing. So just for the heck of it, I'm going to see if I can build up this mascara with a second coat before I go on and do the bottom lashes. So it seems like you can definitely pump up the lashes with a second coat without clumping the lashes together. Okay, so for one dollar, I think this is a very decent mascara. So I'm just going to hit up my bottom lashes as well. Okay, so with the mascara on, I'm going to do my falsies. I'm going to use these ones today. These are the natural lashes from e.l.f. So I hope you guys can see these lashes. They're very natural, but I quite like them. Okay, so now that I have my falsies on, I'm going to go ahead and take my NARS Illuminator in the color Orgasm. The color looks like this. And I'm just going to apply a bit of that on the tops of my cheekbones. Okay, so that's a very nice highlight. So uh, we're almost done. I'm going to use my um, blue lipstick from Born Pretty Store. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. So that's what the blue lipstick looks like. And I definitely think it's a beautiful color, but it is very like creamy and glossy. So I don't know how long it will, it will last. But anyways, I think this is actually the finished look. So honestly, I liked every single product. Um, there's nothing that I tried on today that I will never use again. Um, yeah, I like every single thing. So I know this look is a bit out there, but you know, this is just kind of playing around with makeup and, you know, see what happens. So yeah, that's all for today's video. So please don't forget to like it if you do like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in my next video. So take care.
and bye-bye.